open up the Word of God if that's okay with you. Amen. Amen. All right. Hear me about the mic. Turn it all off, my friend. <laughs> I'm going to open up to the book of Matthew. Okay, Let's see if I can read this here. It's uh, Matthew 7 21. And uh, what it says is, you can see it here. Oh, not everyone who calls on me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Only those who actually do the will of my Father in heaven will enter. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. We cast out demons in your name. We performed many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's law. And how many have read that scripture before? Well, looking at that scripture, you know, there's a couple of things I get out of it. One, one is the word actually. Actually does the will of my Father, you know? And, and that's a big word there, actually. <laughs> what I also look at is the fact that the individuals who, who they're speaking of, um, that, 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 that the Lord is referring to, is somebody who's actually in the church. You know, cast out demons in your name. Lord, I prophesied in your name. Did miracles in your name. Can anybody who didn't know the Lord, or can anybody, you know, I mean, this is somebody who thought they knew the Lord, amen. Mm -hmm. Still, he said, depart from me, I never knew you. And so I, as I, I, I really had a burden on my heart to play this song because as I thought this, I thought, you know, there's a lot of people in church today that are going to church every single day, you know, and they go in and they get filled and then they walk out and they leave it at the church, you know? And I was just talking with my wife about this yesterday. I said, there's so many people that go up to the pastor and say, oh, what a great message. And they walk out and they just leave it there. It's like, it'd be better not to say anything at all to the pastor and actually apply that to your life, amen? And grow deeper in love with the Lord. And so the song that I wrote is called, Would I Know You? And it's basically, it's the Lord speaking directly to an individual who's sitting in church, um, who has passed away and is, is now in that position before the Lord. And I, I always bring up this uh, analogy is, is that if you were a five-year-old child inside of a grocery store and you were lost and you're running around looking for your father, you know, all over the place and you can't find him, you know, and you, and you feel just, you know, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? And finally you see him and you run to him and you grab onto his leg and he looks down at you and basically kicks you off and says, I don't know you. You know, where would you be at that point lost in this big, you know, I mean, at that, at that point, the, the hurt. And that's where we are with the Lord, you know. The Lord wants us to have that relationship to Him. I want to be able to run up to Him and grab onto His leg, amen, and have Him pick me up and throw me in the air as a, as a, as a newborn child and just be able to be cradled by Him, amen. And He wants that. And so this song's called, Would I Know You? And so I ask that you just listen to the words, receive the words, you know, all glory to God, amen. Where I die with your name 
Oh uh-huh.